Joseph Maldonado. Who's that? Who the fuck's Joseph Malalalo? No, isn't that that's Joe Exotic's real name? Because I gotta I gotta keep with the theme. Ah, yeah, because he, uh, yeah. Well, I don't want to freak you out, but I haven't seen Tiger King. I mean, I wish I hadn't seen it. It's not that good. Uh, but everyone was raving about it for a while there. You know, it was a big deal. I find like there's nothing on TV anymore, though. Like there's nothing good on it. So like they can put the most garbage TV show on and everybody will think it's the biggest deal. Like just look at Squid Game. I mean, that's not that great. I haven't seen that either. I mean, it's it's like a bunch of Asian people doing Asian people things. And I mean, there's not a lot of squid going on. So it's not it's not that great. What? They're all just spreading coronavirus and eating dogs. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what you would expect from them. Exactly. But um, yeah, that's weird, dude. Why do you watch so much shit? Fuck. Well, there's nothing else on, man. Like, uh, don't you watch what sport? The... sport? Sports are gay. Um, like, I, I heard that there's that that uh, that white supremacist said like uh, he said having sex with women is gay, but I find uh, sports that's the real uh, pathway to homosexuality. I thought it was fucking dudes. No, because I mean, first you do the sports, then you go to the showers, and then you fuck oh, dudes, it's right? It's a gateway. So, yeah. I see. All right. Yeah. All right, let me just write this down before I start. It's 9 a.m., carry the one. What time is it up there? It's uh, it's almost 7 p.m. Right. Eastern time, I guess. I'm ready to do your uh, the worst episode you've done of your podcast. So Why? It's going to be great. No. All right. But I'm ready for up. it. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Welcome back to the Brown Snake interview series. This week's guest is the infamous Joe Exotic. Welcome, Joe. Hello. Now, I must warn you, full disclosure, I have not watched Tiger King. Oh, we already, what, I have to repeat what I said? Okay, okay. I just fucking started the show, you motherfucking Canadian motherfucking cunt. I got you, I got you, okay, okay. Jesus, the rookie shit I have to deal with on this podcast. Anyway, so, like, um, you know that Ashley chick from LA whose fish kept getting eaten by some dumb bird? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I remember that girl. Yeah, yeah. She heaps likes tarot cards. Anyway, she um she messaged me yesterday and said to ask you who killed Carol Baskin. But she's still alive, isn't she? I don't know. I don't even know who she is. She's isn't she the lady that the guy went to jail? Like that's what, who cares? I don't care. But you got a bunch of questions. Is that what you're telling me? I'm ready. What other what other kind of questions we got going? All right. You're an infamous Twitter troll, right? Uh, uh, allegedly. I think uh, people put more power to that than it actually is, but okay. Well, for the kids at home listening with aspirations of becoming a great Twitter troll, what would you advise them? Uh, when people blame you for stuff, just take credit for it. Yeah, right. Exactly. And then, then people start to... I've noticed people contact you with gossip and trouble... And it just comes to you now because you're my, my favorite was like the Alex Engelbert saga where like her ex-boyfriend who she was like on again, off again, like every time they would be off again, he'd start sending me messages, but then he'd somehow get back with her. again. <laughs> like I, I, I forgot know. about that guy, but uh, I think they broke up for, for real now. Yeah. I, I think she's I don't got know. a new boyfriend apparently, but wasn't the new boyfriend in Chicago, just like he was saying that he was getting cheated on by some guy in Chicago or something. I don't know. It was very, very intricate. I and don't know. I, I get confused with American cities. Um, so the whole place thing is a problem for me. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You're not good on the geography. I got you. Well, you know, it's all just, I, I think you all just live in the same town. It's easier for me. I mean, it feels that way sometimes. But really? uh, what can you do? Well, I mean, I know Vito lives like really close to me. And uh, you ever made up for guys, a coffee so. or something? No, he wanted I was going to go to his comedy show, but he was like, oh, I can't wait to take a picture. And I'm like, OK, I'm, I'm not going to show up. So I don't know. I got you don't, don't want to be doxxed. Well, I just got scared. So I didn't I didn't want to do it. Yeah, he might roof you. I mean, that could I could end up at his house and. uh it wouldn't be good. 
You've been Joe Exotic on Twitter for as long as I can remember. Were you someone else previously? No. Um, I was like Joe Exotic for president. And then uh, I started helping like the real Joe Exotic with his, uh, like he was running for president and then he ran for governor. So I started helping him with his governor nonsense. And he'd tell me like things to tweet out. And You and, do uh, love nonsense. Well, it got, re- it got really weird because like, he he ended up getting censored from the whole uh from his from his political party and that means that they just wouldn't let him make public speeches and wouldn't really participate in any of their debates or anything and and they blamed uh, my twitter account saying that it was because he was using my twitter account to say all these negative things about his opponents it was really a so you're in trouble situation. Mike. yeah unfortunately it it just happens but Again, if I didn't do that, then he might not have went on and uh, tried to kill that lady and wouldn't be in jail, right? But you would, yeah, wouldn't would know lady. anything about that. Yeah, well, so. any lady murdered, I'm good with. <laughs> I mean, yeah. How many times have you been banned off Twitter? Uh, I haven't been banned off Twitter in at least six years. So I don't think they count. You're not much of a troll. It's pretty disappointing. Well, I mean, I don't do... I don't do racist stuff and I don't do things that like are really over the line, but I do somehow annoy people. Like uh, I just look at the Stevie Lou thing. He's mad because I said he shouldn't have, I, it all started because I said he shouldn't have uh, misery loves company in his uh, Twitter name. And yeah, that's the right. guy, he, he spazzed at you and wanted to bash you up. Yeah. And it it's just keeps going down from there. Like people will message me like, Oh, he's doing this on discord. And then I'll, I'll tweet something and not even say his name and he'll just explode saying he's coming to beat me up. So it's uh it's pretty fun though. No, it's good. It's good content is um blocking and muting people on Twitter gay. Yeah. I, fi- I, I try not to do it, but uh, it's like, what, what can you do? Sometimes you just have to block people, but uh, I no, haven't done don't. it in a while. No, sometimes you have to. No, um, you don't. Uh, I don't know. I, like, I probably have a bunch of people blocked, but I, I don't remember blocking anyone in, in at least a few months. So I, I can't. Uh, I don't know, man. Blocking, I, just, I think sometimes you have to do it. No, I just ignore them. And it doesn't bother me. If, if someone's coming at me, an enemy, I'll engage with them for the sport of it. I don't mind being hated. It's kind of fun. I'm like you. Fuck it. Yeah, but I mean, your feuds are are really just like Twitter whores getting mad at, at you saying they're ugly or whatever. It's not really any anything of substance. Dude, I've had I guess... people, I had a guy DMing me saying he wanted to rape my wife and murder my kids. Who was that? Was that uh, that that uh, Frank that was, guy? No, that was that MJ guy. Oh, <laughs> he, he was angry. <laughs> MJ was such a funny guy. I I I can't believe he actually did that to you. That's uh But I, I didn't block him. I talked to him and I, I think I got in his head a bit and I bothered him. And eventually, uh, a couple of years later, he apologized and said he was doing a lot of cocaine at the time. I'm like, yeah, it's all good. Fuck it. Well, I know, like, I think he was apparently afraid that somebody was about to dox him, so that's why he uh he kind of went away. Well, allegedly, I was looking for him pretty fucking hard. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think he's. I don't think he's easy to find. Like well, he, I know he's. You, you say I'm a troll. I know that guy's done some some pretty uh, messed up things, but. Yeah, but in in this industry, it's a people industry, and you know people that knew him or he's crossed in the past that he revealed yeah. himself to. Trust me, man. I was I was close. <laughs> okay. Okay. Allegedly. No, I I believe it. But I know, uh, I know somebody, somebody must have scared him. I don't think it was you, but it would be really funny if it ended up being you. No, I'm a sweetheart. You know that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I don't believe it. But I know somebody apparently scared him off. So, Are there other trolls on Twitter that you admire? Um, I, don't, I like Porcelain. I like what he does. Yeah. Uh, I like Shilly. Shilly really Bastard, like- he's awesome. I, I really like what he does to uh, what's his name now? Polar bear or something. Yeah. The, the Swedish guy. Yeah. Uh, I really like how he's, he annoys him all the time and you just mention his name and, and the bear gets all upset. So yeah, I, that, I do that enjoy pretty that. Funny. Yeah. I love it. But, but uh, I don't know. There's not a lot of uh, trolling going on, but 
I, I really like Red Bar. I like the stuff he does. And, I thought he was uh, dead. Well, I know he has like some medical issues and I know he's been like on bed rest and in and out of the hospital. But I mean, who knows what how much wrong that is? I, well, there's like been rumors that he's been on like um, a catheter bag, you know, one of those bags you shit in or whatever. But I mean, who knows how how legitimate any of these real rumors are. Um, but it, we're coming up onto a year of him almost not uh, broadcasting anything. So who knows really what, what's going I don't on. know how you watch that dude it goes for so long it's too much you just fast forward it but he does some really funny bits I mean just look at what Sam Tripoli went to his apartment or like hired a private investigator to hunt him down and went to his apartment and uh tried to get him to open his door or whatever yeah so, it's just too much to wade through for me I can't do it I need a highlight well, reel or something yeah, no, that's that's why it's all about watching clips, right? So I don't know. It's good yeah, times for me. Now, if you were advising like comedians or podcasts, podcasters how to handle fame or people trashing them or trolling them, what would you advise? What's the best way to do it? Ignore it? Yeah, you just ignore it because if you if you give them acknowledgement, it just fuels them. And yeah, if you engage, you're fucked. Right. But if you just put them on mute or you do a block it just uh which is guy well i mean if you if you mute them out you're then i guess they won't know they're blocked and uh you'll just have a better time i mean i i had a podcast going for a few years and uh you do. yeah the problem i had was like with it was like a, a group of us had a podcast and it would be like if you get mad about critics or whatever it's like what can you do you people are trolling you it's like what what can you do what happened to your uh, podcast I, uh i was in control of it and i kind of went mental and started kicking people off yeah so. fuck them all man it well, was a real power well then it just ended up just being me uh and i was so uh you started with five and you end up with one and, and you just give up on it so but five's too many dude i hate lots of people talking yeah but uh i think all of them have now like went on to do other podcasts and they all <laughs> have become pretty uh pretty well known and successful in, in YouTube terms, but uh, what? So do you want to you want to tell us the name of that podcast, or you just want to forget about it? No, no, no. I like. You, what can you do? Uh, I like. It's not a. So I've. I'm not. Well, why would I dox myself? I'm not. <laughs> what you, <laughs> I don't know. I know what you're up to. No, no. I'm just giving you opportunities. <laughs> okay, so recently you've had some run-ins with Carly Kingsley. Uh, I call it asshole gate because you sent her pictures of your asshole and she didn't reciprocate. I mean, what went wrong there? Okay. Like that, that, that's a whole weird thing too. So she, she was dating Pat Oates and I was at one point, like just tweeting about how he shouldn't have a show at compound media and how he was just like, not funny and how he worked at home Depot or something. And but then she, yeah, well, then she started DMing me and then like she'd tell me like, oh, well, like I used to date him. Oh, if you only knew the story. And then she'd start telling me all this dirt like, oh, he actually works at Big Lot. So this is his address. This is blah, blah, blah. And then like, oh, this is it. we'd find like pictures of him with some new girlfriend. And I and um, I'd send it to her and then I just see her reaction. And so it just grew from there uh, <laughs> to ev to eventually like she was saying something to me. And I just said, like, said nudes. And she said, I don't send nudes like you have to go first. And then I said, asshole pictures. And then, yeah, I sent her a picture of my asshole and she didn't send anything back. And uh, yeah, she's just rude. Which is so. funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Like, I'm not mad about it. I'm more mad. I'm mad. About, like She betrayed I, you. Well, then she like for a few weeks pretended like it didn't happen. And I kept saying, like, why would you do that? Like, I sent you a picture of my asshole and she'd be like, what are you talking about? Then I had to like show her screenshots. Of it, and she's so... What I think happened was I think she drinks a lot. And I think that's what we found out recently when like somebody posted her, uh, her whole rap sheet. Uh, I thought she went to rehab for drinking. Yeah. But I think she's like, like, I think it's an on and off situation. I thought the narrative was that the tragic breakup drove her to drink, yada, yada, yada. She fucked up. She hit the bed. So she had to go to rehab. Yeah, but the narrative was also that she was in law school. And I mean, you can't go to law school if you have like, well, I mean, you can't pass the bar if you have all these criminal uh, uh, cases on you, right? Like, or, no, I don't know. Uh, what would you call that? Um, 
I don't know. You can't if you if you've been arrested a bunch of times, you can't be a lawyer. Like, I don't know the rules. Can't. No, those are the rules. It's the same rules in Australia. What the fuck do I know about the law? I'm not a lawyer. Well, I, I come on. Do I, I need mean, a I lawyer? I, I've watched enough episodes of Judge Judy to know that uh, it just doesn't make sense. So real cases, real people. So <laughs> she, Carly alleges that anyone who fucks with her is a jealous Pat Oates fan. Well, we're all apparently Pat Oates fans, and that's the only reason why we go after her. But sorry, we're all we're all Pat. O- we're jealous Pat Oates fans. We're we're big Pat Oates boosters apparently, and we're sort of doing his bidding to mess with her. That's in her head. But but okay, so it was posted that like she went to Pat Oates' house. And she was so drunk, she didn't know which one was his, and she broke his neighbor's yeah, window. She broke it. That's pretty funny. <laughs> but it was like it wasn't his house; it was his neighbor's house. Now so, we're obsessed. Yeah, I mean, I guess we are. Because no one, not a, nobody cares about Pat Ice. Let's be honest. I think the problem was like she would just start tweeting stupid shit, and that's what just got me to be like DM. Like she'd have somebody blocked after we'd have like a a, a DM. And then somebody would be blocked, and then we'd ask her what was going on, right? Or well, I would ask her what was going on, and it just went. I got blocked because she said I'm leading a a cult of compound media followers to harass her. She said I'm a cult leader. Well, she blocked me. She blocked me, and then I posted all this really negative stuff, and I was like, "Oh, she, she reports this, I might get some trouble." So I blocked her back, and then she posted like a screenshot of me blocking her. All right. That's so, good. Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, look, I love it. I think it's hilarious. Um, another good one. Well, was... the thing, the other thing though, too, was like we finally found pictures of what she actually looks like, and it's like, what is going on? Anyway, she has a very attractive sister too. So, I mean, if she's listening to this, which I'm sure she is, hopefully, I can get. Well, as I said in my episode with demise, I, I think the sister, the twin sister, is a Connecticut six at best. But the she doesn't have like the the problems, right? Like the, the, the mental problems problem. or the mental problems. Yeah, so, but she's not hot. I wouldn't call her hot. I mean, you need to I aim know. higher. Yeah, probably. No, definitely. I mean, you've been in trouble with um your good friend Danielle from Canada when you were calling into in hot water trying to help Gino get a good deal with Tokyo Cunt Punch for fucking Barry Ribs. And then you end up getting doxxed by Danielle. Yeah, because uh, Gino was trying to have sex with that hooker for free. Who was gross. Who was gross. I don't know if you follow her on any social media, but she's always she's always posting about like how she's had this disgusting sex with like (laughs) like it's really gross. Um, What do you follow it for? You can't stop. Because it's so funny. Like, oh, I just got raw dog. <laughs> oh man, it's and she's talking about like black dudes most of the time and how they're just Did raw dogs. Did you ever fuck Barry Ribs? No, but I would have I would have pitched in a hundred bucks for that. But Canadian or U.S.? I would have paid paid U.S., but uh, everybody seems to be against that idea. So you can't offer a prostitute money to have sex with Barry Ribs on in hot water. I thought the problem was that you were trying to get a better price, like negotiate. Well, then she, she started at like 500 bucks and that's way too much. It's about $490 too much. Well, I mean, that may be, but I mean, we're talking about somebody who said that she'd willingly have sex with Gino for free. So I, I don't know. <laughs> and Gino doesn't block you anymore. You're, you're friends now. You've buried the hatchet. <laughs> yeah. Gino unblocked me. Um, I don't yeah, think me, he's telling people to, He's not telling people to block me anymore. Uh, well, Gino what, hated that, me for a long time and blocked me because I refused to disown you and block you. That I was don't know if crime. you've like if you've watched any of like any clips of his show or anything, but things are going like down in a hilarious way with him. So uh, he's just like I don't know, man. But it, it's not going to work out for him. I and like, I a, love, I like I love a bit of a it. rant, though. I don't mind a good Gino rant. I think it's entertaining. But I don't think it's entertaining for longer than half an hour. He walks around New York Street and he finds, like, a random black guy 
and says, hey, will you do my podcast? And he puts them on the show just so he could say the N-word a bunch of times. He's done that like three times in the last week, as I've noticed. Well, that, what could um, go wrong? It's it's amazing, but it's not going to work out uh, in the end. <laughs> like it's, so, it's so where not, do you see uh, Gino going? Do you think like he's going to lose viewers and fuck it up? Well, he has that rank control department. Uh, he's right. always going to be at Compound Media. But I mean, how long is Compound Media going to be around for? Did, I don't they think- just... I don't think long. They got rid of all their shows and they just got like a new one, right? Um, like some kind of veteran gun nut show or something. I don't and know. It's all I, on Zoom. I, I don't really watch it much, but when when Kumia moves to what is it, South Carolina or whatever it is? Yeah. I don't understand why he wouldn't just have a little home studio, do his own thing, not have the all the guys in the booth and all that. Just fuck it all off and just do it cheap, simple, easy. Well, that's how it started, right? But right, he wasn't. He kept having pedophiles around, right? And that was his problem. What? And wasn't that why he got the studio? Because the Kurt Love stuff or whatever. Uh, it's all pre before I knew anything about Compound. Because I only came yeah. to Compound through Kevin doing Burning Bridges. Yeah. And and then I cancelled after he left. So you know, you tell me. No, I came to Compound because of Gavin. Right. And then when Gavin left, and I was like, I'll give it a week. And then that's when Kevin showed up. So, so is that when you got into MLC then? Yeah. Oh, you're late um, to the party, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm well aware. I, I joined because of Compound. Uh, I joined the whole team. But, I mean, whatever. No, you whatever. You went back and watched all the original MLCs? Yeah, I've seen all of the, uh, the podcasts. And are you... With- is your favorite Brian McCarthy, Lenny, Jimmy Martinez? I think the best episodes were Lenny because Lenny was able to bring guests and he'd make them stay. Um, I, I agree. I, I always loved the Lenny Lee's era. Um, I still think one of the best episodes was uh, the one with uh, the, the lady who um, Neil now had like a bunch of shows with uh, the curly haired crazy lesbian one. Um, I can't remember now. I don't know. Uh, but there was one and he had, Kevin just kept yelling at her the whole fucking episode about how like she's always going to be single and uh, she's never going to find a man and she's just a loser. Yeah, they were awesome. Episodes like that, they're very funny. So I like it when that, he yells at, um, what's the lady who married a gay guy? Patty. She, yeah, Patty Rosberg. When he just yells at her, how stupid she is, it just makes me laugh. Yeah. Because she's so yeah. lovely, but she's kind of stupid, like what, not worldly. Yeah, no, uh, well, her and the other one, too. Uh, the other... Uh, Carrie. Uh, Carrie, yeah. I'm With not, the off. She loves the scratchies. I'm not a big fan of either of them, really. Uh, they, I just find them to be annoying on the podcast. And they're all constantly talking about sex. And I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care about old ladies and their gross old lady vaginas. Well, how old is too old for a vagina? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'd say 25. Oh, uh, you're harsh. I, I think 35, after 35, get the fuck out of here. Well, both of I them are like that. three times that. So, I mean, they're they're overboard. Yeah, I, absolutely. No, I'm, I'm with you all the way. I don't want to hear about anyone have sex. Like, I don't care. Do whatever you want. It's just not that interesting. The worst one is Keanu, too. Like, I mean, if they just stayed off that, I mean, their podcast would be a lot better. But I'm not. You don't like Keanu? I'm not a fan of her talking about, like, all these old dudes plowing her and it's just it's just gross man i like Keanu. Not, she she's skinny and hot it's just it's a weird situation and then isn't the other guy uh like old enough to be her dad too uh the guy she does the podcast with alan fuchs yeah like all of his hair is gray and he shaves it completely black <laughs> yeah and there's something going on with that guy too so i i don't know i'm just not a fan well who do you like as a uh, guest I like Tom Cassidy. Uh, I don't know if you watched today's episode with uh, uh, Steve Marshall, but I, I like him because he really pisses off Kevin. I yeah, mean, those the are uh, the really good episodes are when uh, Kevin gets pissed off. So you're not a fan of dumb whores on a podcast, like the wet spot style of journalism? No, I think I've I think I've watched like one episode of the wet spot and it's not it's not that great. No, I can't watch it. It's not my sort of thing. But and, someone and must plus, watch like, it. It's just not like it's just not funny. 
I, I don't well, the know. women aren't attractive. Like generally, the women on it are rough. They're not beautiful. They're not. Well, what what is beautiful? Well, not fat chicks with fake tits oh. that are whores. Like, if you're going to be a whore, you've got to be a skinny whore, or, or I'm not interested. There was one chick who was on it who, like, she, uh, Kumia tried to show her his bank account, and she was like, oh, I have more money than you. She wasn't bad, but oh, aside from I? that, um, I don't know, Barry Ribs is constantly posting pictures of her, uh, but I do Elsa not Elsa Jane? No, not, is, no, she's white. Um, uh-huh. uh Elsa Jean, yeah, no, I don't, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, no, Elsa Jean, yeah, that's the one. Um, that's the one. That's the only attractive one, no? Yeah, she's, she's pretty wrong? attractive. And I don't know if you've seen a vagina, or I assume you have. Well, I'm, I'm looking right now. I had to Google her because I was like, no, oh, is that I like who that it. Is? I like a vagina. It's got a bit of personality. <laughs> good. What? what, uh, what? I don't like the tidy vagina with no labia showing, you know, it's all too neat and I like a Picasso. <laughs> That's just me. Oh man. All right. So <laughs> another great troll moment of yours was when you took over Brian McCarthy's dislabeled account. <laughs> and that was fucking hilarious. Well, which was, well on YouTube or on, on Twitter? Because on, on the Twitter, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big Both Twitter were pretty guy. good. Yeah. Um, well, he like he said he he's like, oh, I need another fifty subscribers on YouTube so I can uh, get uh, the dislabeled name on YouTube. And I had I already had an account that had like two hundred subscribers, like some throwaway account. So I then took that and and relabeled that and took that over. And then he quit Twitter at one point, and yeah, I took over his Twitter name. Brian yeah, that's King a master. Strike. Well, what was weird was his, I think his, we- I don't know if his website still has it, but if you go to his website, if you, it has his Twitter stuff. And if you click on Twitter, it would go to mine. Yeah. It's it, it doesn't go to his. So it's amazing. Uh, it, it's just weird. But I, I was interviewing um, Gil Bravo the other day and he physically ran into Brian McCarthy on the street of East Manhattan. And Gil, Gil goes, I'm Gil Bravo, but I'm not Joe Exotic, the guy who's been ringing you. <laughs> What did what did Brian say? Uh, he just seemed confused. <laughs> so, so were you were you phoning Brian on his cell saying you're Gil Bravo? Um, well, when he would do a podcast, he'd have his phone right there, and I would phone and say, "Hey, it's Gil Bravo. Uh, <laughs> do you want your Twitter account back?" And then he'd get all mad and hang up. But I I, I don't know. I was uh, willing to give it back to him, but he just got really mad. Yeah, that was great. But did you enjoy him, Brian, generally? Yeah, I mean, Brian was good on the podcast because, again, he was able to just really upset Kevin. I didn't like how he would yell over him constantly, but uh, he was definitely fun and added uh, something to the to the podcast. But he didn't know his place. I don't I think that's the problem with everybody that Kevin brings on his on his uh, show. Well, Chad initially said that he knew that it's kevin's podcast you know he knew his place it's kevin's ship you know and then he got sick of that and that become a problem yeah but i mean chad chad's a weird one too because he always like backtracks like remember when like the sam tripoli stuff happened but he wants to go back with sam tripoli like he's like oh sam please take me back as your friend but it's like that guy kicked you out of la or whatever like didn't he run you out of town and you're like pretty much kissing his ass so I, I don't know he he's just a weird guy i don't know if he really understands what uh, the word loyalty means but who knows yeah i don't know much about this sam Tripoli guy is he any funny like i've never heard no. him talk um he's a comedian who then decided to do like conspiracy podcasts and it wasn't like real con- he just jump on to like whatever was hip like pizza gate or like oh these they're having sex with kids or whatever but he wouldn't like it was a lot like the way Chrissy Mayer does it, like where it's just doing it for clicks. And uh, eventually that's how he became a person. But he was on a, a comedy podcast and uh, with Chad and, and then what kicked him off because of the Patton Oswald thing. Oh, because Patton killed his wife. Yeah, Patton 100% killed his wife. But uh, Chad just wouldn't stop tweeting it at him. 
Ed, uh, I guess he didn't like that. Yeah. Um, so you're a Canadian, right? Right. Apparently. What's the deal with Canadians? Oh, uh, a lot of, uh, I mean, Clint Eastwood said that they were, it was the pussy generation that we've all become, but, uh, I, I don't think he's wrong. Uh, Why did Canada you vote has... in Justin Trudeau? Well, he he said he was going to legalize weed, so everybody did you voted vote for, for him? him. I voted for him like I want to say four times ago, but like he lost, so I never voted for him when he won. But uh, yeah, do you think Canadians are all socialists? There's definitely a problem here because if you ask people, there's uh i was i I talked to some people recently and the guy told me that trudeau only did blackface one time and it was because he was part of a play right and i'm just thinking like one time like there's multiple pictures of of videos of him in multiple outfits like one time and and it's just like for people to be that confused and and that misguided i just do do you know anyone in your life who's done blackface no me neither it's weird. Well, what's more weird is like when you look at the pictures of him doing blackface, he his hands are black. The inside of his mouth is black in one of them. Like he goes all out. You, you don't even see people go as blackface as he went. So it's yeah. just weird to have people say like, oh, no, he only did it one time. And oh, it was he was in a play. It's like, what the fuck? That's nah, weird. But uh, yeah, I thought weed was legal up there. Yeah, it's legal now, but uh, that's how Trudeau got in. And it's been, what, three elections since he's been in? So that's almost right. 12 years, I think. Because you're, you're so. a super big weed guy, aren't you? Like, you love yeah. the weed. But I, I see liked you it. and Seth Rogen as interchangeable. I preferred when it was illegal because the laws weren't as crazy as they are now with, like, uh, driving high and uh, just shit like that. I'm Do you get random uh, breath tests or drug tests when you drive over there? Um, they can do that, but it's more like blood tests. So uh, if I got if they'll just it's not if you're high, it's just like the concentrate in, in your blood. And of it's THC. really biased. Right. And it THC stays in your system for 30 days. So no matter what, it's a it's a biased system because it's not going to say if you smoked within a, a certain amount of hours, it's going to say well, it'd it'd have a days, level, right? wouldn't it? it wouldn't just be like a micro. It de- it de- it depends how much you smoke regularly, right? So if it was me, it's going to say it's going to be high no matter what. Like if I stop smoking for a day, it's still going to be very high. Yeah, because so you're a crackhead. Just, exactly. All, all Canadians so, are on pot. Like you just love it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like there's you, Danny Elzo always on pot looking at goldfish. You got Smokey Brooks who called herself Smokey because she smoked so much pot. Oh, I thought she called herself smoky because like her uh her forehead or whatever. Oh, I'll have yeah. to check that out. Uh-huh. Yeah, add that when, when you have her on, ask ask her about her forehead. I, I don't know if I can have chicks with curly hair on my podcast. I've got a phobia. I hate curly- yeah. It's a medical fucking phobia. I hate chicks with curly hair. They make me very uncomfortable. It's it's hair of chaos. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Um, well, it's but, yeah. like wires coming down from a TV. You just can't have it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know you are. You are kind of anal about the wires. I do, uh, but well, we'll make an effort. It. Make an effort, people. Fucking slobs. Listen, people want want to watch their movies. They want to set their stuff up. They don't want to hide their wires. Like I know on. you love Willy Wonka. You want to watch it every week. I love the Willy Wonka. First of all, like I, I don't know how you haven't seen Willy Wonka. That's just a weird like how how do you go through your life and you've never seen the first one? I haven't seen uh, a lot of stuff, dude. It's but... not even like a bad movie. The first one. I it's don't like get a... the premise. It's some creepy guy luring children into. A chocolate factory it seems very pedophilia to me it's it's grooming and i don't like it i know you you hate pedophiles right that's your you're not thing. wrong you're not wrong there are some pedophile aspects to it for sure but there's also uh there's the slavery allegory right with the uh the oompa loompas i don't know i haven't seen uh, it but my well, point I, is if willy wonka wasn't made there would be no pedophilia 
in North America. I mean, that's a strong argument, but I, I don't think you're right there because Americans are fucked up. And don't they make love me hire fucking kids. Carly Kingsley to push my case because I'll do she, it. She, she, she'll take that case. See, I haven't seen E.T., I haven't seen the Harry Potter, I haven't seen Lord of the Rings. I don't watch any superhero movies. I hate them all. Yeah, but like E.T., I don't like that. That seems like a classic movie you have to watch. The other ones is like a time investment. Like, why would you want to watch a movie where you have to watch two movies after it to continue the story? What the fuck? Well, the, if they're what's good, the point of that? that that's no, cool. no, come on. There's no point in that. Uh, so that's why the, the I think the theme movies, is yeah. they're all children's movies and I'm an adult. So I think that, you know, uh, superhero movies are very childish. Yeah. Like, what if he had magic powers and you're like, well, that's stupid. Well, I watched this movie recently called like everything is everywhere is everyone or some shit. Like it's about like these Asian Americans who own like some lot. It was the worst fucking movie I've ever seen. But my point is movies aren't made for, for people like us. Uh, they're made for complete losers and people that want to see like people with gay relationships and their parents not liking it. And then at the end, their parents are like happy with them again. And it's just, it's just nonsense. There's no good uh, movies anymore. What? Tell me some good movies for adults. Not your childish Tan- shit with the Wonka. Adult movies. What's good? Tango, Tango and Cash. Have Rambo. Oh, Rambo Die was Hard. great. Rambo one was good. Yeah, yeah. I said the Rambo. Rest was dog shit. I don't have you seen the third one where he goes to Afghanistan for no reason? Yeah, I couldn't watch it. It was stupid. That it's pretty good, man, because it's it's he goes to Afghanistan for absolutely no reason. Uh, to fight Russians or some shit like it's there's no reason for him to go there and then there's all these Taliban guys it's 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 up there with number one this, I do enjoy one killing Taliban it. guys I mean I must admit that's something I enjoy but I watched well, he, um a, John Wick one was good it's as bad as superhero y silly as I'll go but John yeah. Wick two just the opening scenes with the Russians was so cheesy I had to turn it off I couldn't handle it yeah, I'm just, was... I'm not, the action movies today just aren't good. Like, I don't know. I just need movies where, where they say for, uh, F words that have G's in them and uh, aren't complete pussies about shit. So yeah, I just like violence. I don't know. It's just there's, there's not a lot of good stuff out there anymore. And it's, it's just very disappointing. So you like the old older movies? Yeah. Yeah, so. well, I agree with you there. But you like computer games too, don't you? You're one of those young guys. You're, how old are you, Joe? I'm in my uh, 30s. Mid-30s? Yeah. I feel you should be looking at getting a wife at this point. I'm, uh, I'm dating someone. I mean, it's, it's going places. What? But, uh, I didn't what do you mean, you were, what? I didn't know you were dating someone. Yeah, me and Carly are very serious now. So No, are you really seeing a real world person? Yeah, I'm seeing a real world person. How long have you been uh, dating this chick? I think it's been about like five months now. So it's going places. Right. But, now, uh, do you mind if I just ask you a panel of questions on this? Okay. Does she smoke a lot of pot? No. I like her. Has she got a job? Uh, kind uh, of. It's a kind negative. Of. So no. that's a negative. Yeah, let's go. Now, with no. I'll just put a cross there. Yeah. Um, does she hate her parents? No. That's a that's a positive. That's a sign. Um, let me see. She lives with flatmates in a independently no. of her parents. No, no. She lives with her parents. No, no. She's got her own place. All right. That's good. That's a tick. Good on her own. Um, half. Okay. She doesn't have that big fat ass, does she? No, she has like a, no- a normal body size. Um, like a size sk- two. Well, she's skinnier than me, and I'm not uh, this big guy, so. No, that's good. Uh, that's a tick. And does she have straight hair? Yes, it's not curly. That's a tick. And it's not short? It's not short, no. Does she have allergies? Uh, no. I did give her COVID, though. That's fine. She'll be fine. I, I imagine. All right, well, that's 
that's mainly text. I think there's only one negative that the her employment needs to be cleared up. But you may date her. You have the brown snake approval. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, I'm a generous guy. <laughs> so getting back to podcasts, Joe. What podcast do you listen to in order, like your top three or four? I'm. Uh, I just listen to Kevin on uh, MLC. Aside from that, I'm not big on uh, podcasts. I haven't really been listening to anything. Did you used to listen and you've dropped off? No, I. I really. Uh, I. I liked Kevin's Burning Bridges show, and that caught me onto MLC. And uh, I'm not really a big podcast guy, but I, uh, I think podcasts might be in decline. Like they've had their moment in what way like it's just you can only talk about the same stuff so many times i mean that's my point like podcasts were fun for a while and now it's like the same old shit the same old premises it it gets boring so people are losing interest or is that just me being too cynical no i think you're right there uh i think it's really moved towards like more video content that people are watching and uh, more like video interviews that people want to watch that's why i do audio only well i i I get that and uh i appreciate your stride uh, along with that yeah fuck the people giving them what they want that's disgusting (laughs) what about the skanks uh, you don't like the skanks and their silliness i never i never got into that no um aren't aren't they like always making out and stuff and uh i know I, i can't get past Louis J. Gomez saying doggy. Saying doggy? Yeah, he calls people like guys on the show, yo, doggy, and annoys the fuck out of me. I want to kill him. Yeah, so I, I never noticed that. But uh, yeah, no, it's not. Uh, it's definitely not for me. Don't call people doggy, Joe. It's not cool. I don't think I've never heard somebody call somebody doggy, but I think I'm going to start doing it. <laughs> don't do it, man. No, Your I life think... will fall to shit. Will it become like Luis J. Gomez? Will I be get uh, get Natalie Como by my side? Maybe if she got a tit lift. I mean, her tits sag. I don't like them. Plus, like everybody's seen that girl naked. Like, what? Yeah. I gotta pay. I gotta pay what six dollars for a magazine to see your girl naked. That's not a good look. Do you like the tattoo look? Not a big fan of it. No, but I think uh... it can look hot on the right girl, but she's not the right girl. And she's got a very strong jawline. And I reject any chick that looks like a dude. Like, if you've got the slightest strong jaw, get the fuck out. Well, what I find weird is, like, she doesn't follow the premise of, like, if you got metal on the face, you got metal other places, you know? I didn't know that was a thing. No, that's a thing. I mean, if they got metal, you can see. There's metal you can't see. But then she takes all of her clothes off and there's no more metal. So I hate the pierced clit, pierced tit thing. It's stupid. It's try too hard. Well, you got to do both, right? That's that's what no, I'm do a none. believer on. No, no, no. You, well, yeah, do none or both, not one. Uh, and if you're going to get your uh, lit pierced, at least get like seven going. You got to have like seven little rings, right? Right. Yeah, or so. none. But you're, I thought you were a big uh, Uyghur guy. Like you love rap and sneakers and I do black like culture. rap. And uh, I I do like sneakers. Does that but, make you uh, a wigger? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't have earrings anymore. Uh, so I I don't I don't know. Does that make me a wigger? I don't know. You are to me. Like what I mean, went wrong? I do listen to a lot of black music, um, but. I think that's just par for the course. What course? Well, I mean, people keep getting arrested, but they keep making great music. So you have to listen to it for like homage, right? Like you got R. Kelly. Uh, um, who? R. Oh, Kelly. You see the piss guy. Oh, yeah. He has some good music, man. Just because he pisses on people doesn't mean his music isn't solid. No, I don't care what he does, but what's, he, what's his great song? Uh, I Can Fly. Never heard of it. And then he has that other song called Cookie that's all about eating vagina like an Oreo. Why don't you just say eating vagina? Um, because Why he has are we going to do an cookie? analogy? Why? I don't like cookies. 
Not even Oreos? Oreos are shit, dude. Fuck your Oreos. Oh, that's kind of disappointing, man. And they're they're actually a biscuit, not a cookie. But is that like an is that an Australian thing? No, like people buy them. Oreos? I see them in the grocery store. I've eaten <laughs> one. You got to try. People it. buy them. I just don't like them. Okay. I've got strong views. You know that. Oh, that's too. Bad. I like I like what I like. No, I don't like rap though. Rap is just talking. It's like bad poetry to me. Yeah, but I mean. Have you heard the song by Future and Young Thug called For the Nut? No, I have not. In it, Young Thug, who is now in jail for murder or some shit, he says, I put a diamond in her butt for a nut. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just genius. Uh, I think I understand now. Now, I don't give a shit about lyrics at all. That, see, that's your problem. Maybe it's your problem. I don't but know, man. I like the I like pacey music or passion, but you could be singing about some, yeah, you know, a lot of bands are left wing and they sing their political songs, but I don't actually care. Like Rage Against the Machine is a good example. They're a good band, but I don't care about their stupid views. And I don't, you know, you just don't even really know the words. You just make it up or get with it. It's the passion that matters. Well. I guess to, to a certain extent, but I don't know. I think, uh, I just think rap music might be where, where it's at. And I think that's, what's missing in your life. I don't think anything's missing in my life. My life. No, I think, I think what you need is, I think you need 50 cent. I think that's, what's missing in your life. 50 cent. He's that big guy. Okay. Is he a big guy? He's got a big head or something. (laughs) The way you describe people is just too much for me. Uh, but I, I don't. I guess. I guess he has a big head. Yeah. Well, you got to measure everyone's head and get back to me. To me, he okay. seems like. Ah, oh, fuck! I'm gonna do an ad read. Fuck. Hang on. This is the worst day of my life. We're doing an ad read. I'm doing an ad read, and I'm told I've got to do it in a Jamaican accent. This is going to be bad, so just bear with me. Hello, a day of the man. Getting stressed about where to go for your vacation this year? Take the Babylon out to travel. Book your all-inclusive Caribbean holiday with No Sandals. At No Sandals exclusive resorts, we know Rasta man don't want to wear no shoe. In fact, he can <laughs> leave him in the departure lounge at the airport and not need them no more till I get back. Enjoy your downtime with like-minded people who don't wear no shoe nowhere. No shoe in restaurant, no shoe on plane, no shoe on golf course either. Book right now at nosandals.com and use promo code FEET30 and no sandals will include a free baggage upgrade so a man can take him on pillow on holiday. That promo code FEET30 at nosandals.com for free pillow transport. I think I did pretty good. Wait, what did you, what was that? It's an ad read that my producer sent me. He'll do anything <laughs> to fucking ruin my life. So I'm supposed to order a vacation now? <laughs> well, I don't know if this is your market because you're a big shoe get... guy. Like you're not a big bare feet outside guy. Are I don't you? think anybody's going to get through this this much of the podcast, but they might. No, I'm not. That's fine. I don't care. That's too, that's. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand what that was for. I think it was the Jamaican accent, though. Um, but was, I, I I enjoyed it. It was pretty believable, right? Oh, for sure. I, I thought I was talking to a Jamaican guy. Do you take your own pillow when you travel? No. Why? Why would I do that? I do that. Who take my you wife? You take does your that. own pillow. What? Of course. Because the, the, with the a... hotel pillow is the wrong size. It's too fluffy. I like a flat, hard pillow, like concrete. Yeah, but they give you like 12 pillows. So you get to pick out of the 12. Well, I don't want to lay on a pillow that some other filthy cunts laid on for starters. But if I don't have the right pillow, 
my neck plays up, you know, I had a car accident years ago, so I'm very fussy. And it's got to be a compressed old pillow. You know, it has, to be, it has to be it has to be gross and yellow, right? Well, that just happens. I mean, yeah. over time. I don't like being judged for my pillow though. Don't start. No, no, no. I have one that's probably just as gross. I, I, how does it become like that? Like, where does that come from? Is that just like sweat? Yeah, I think so. Sweat and time. Gross. And sometimes at night I forget to shower and I go to bed dirty. And then it just soaks into the uh, pillowcase. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever do you ever have a shower and get out of the shower and look down and your feet are muddy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cause that's something uh, I do. And then I'm like, fuck well, it. And I dry my feet with the towel and my towel gets muddy and my wife yells at me. Are, are you waffle stomping? Waffle what? Are you waffle stomping? I don't are know you what shitting that... in the shower and then pushing it down the drain with your feet. No, sir. I just play outside. Then why are they all muddy? Like, what? what you take a shower and your feet are all muddy. How does that make sense? What, what the fuck? Because you've been outside doing yard work in flip flops or bare feet and they get muddy. But well, you don't doesn't the own... water, the water goes down, right? Doesn't it wash off? Doesn't it stop yeah, at your feet? It's like if you hose a car without rubbing the car, the, the dirt can stay on the car you got to have a bit sure. of agitation. So it's like that. If it's stained or baked on, you're fucked. <laughs> it's a stressful <laughs> life, I lead. Do you mow your own lawn? I mean, yeah. No. Why not? Uh, I pay this family that comes and does it. I, uh, a family? I pay them every four months. Yeah, then, then they come, like, eight of them come at once. It's like some guy in his... his uh, incest kids or whatever is he a mexican guy no I, he's dutch oh is he tall so no i thought but, all uh, dutch people were tall no I think right, I'll, make short the floor. I'll make a note it's fine but uh, yeah away. they show up and and they do the thing yeah it's it's unmanly not to mow your own lawn it's a black mark on your name you might grow yeah, i also don't i also don't do the pool um they get they got the pool guy comes uh once a week do you to, do anything uh, do the whole pool thing no uh, i i don't see a real reason to so Are if i can like pay somebody to do it I'd with all your servants um well like the pool guys do look in and see me with a bong a lot of the time and they'll give me like weird looks but they still have to fucking clean my pool so they whatever. probably just think you're seth rogan or they just think I'm like some kind of retarded guy. Well, we all think Which, that, Joe. I mean, yeah, I mean, they wouldn't be wrong. So, no. do you worry yeah. that smoking all the pot will fuck up your brain cells? No, because I think we're, t I think I'm too late into that. Like, I'm thinking about maybe doing like ketamine therapy. Maybe yeah. that will get my brain like back going. But, or uh, you might end up, I don't know, a complete waste of space. Do you think that's what happens when they do the uh, the IV of ketamine? I don't even know what ketamine is, dude. It's like some kind of like animal tranquilizer, but they apparently put it in an IV and they they put it into you and they I don't know. You ever thought about just high? doing doing no drugs and seeing what happens? Uh, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of gay. I'm pretty gay. It sounds that way. Do you think? People from the US or Canada are bigger drug addicts. Who's the biggest drug addicts? No, uh, probably Americans, I, I would assume. Well, aren't you an American? Like, this is where I get confused because you're a North American. Yeah, but I mean, so are Mexicans. Right. And nobody looks at nobody looks at them as American, right? I do. So no, nobody does. So it it's just uh the U.S. is is the only one who can really uh, have the, that claim. But right. Nobody wants I, to be Canadian and nobody wants to be Mexican either. So it's a, no. it's a weird. Well, deal. why would you want to go to Canada with all the fucking snow? It's so annoying. How how many days of the year is snow up there? Uh, like not that many. Uh, four months maybe. 
but you're in the south of Canada, right? Well, I'm not by like the border. No, it's probably it's more than four months, but it's not it's not it's manageable, especially with global warming. Like you can't really complain too much about it. I can and I will. I don't want to go. My wife wanted to go to Canada. She says it's beautiful. She loves the for, snow. For what? That's what I said. What did you want to? Yeah, there's no reason to come here. There is no reason to go there. I said, anything you want to see, you can watch a travel program, look at the pictures. Why can't, else would you, you want guys to go? Can, Can't you go skiing in Australia? Like You guys yeah. have mountains to go skiing. Yeah, sure. So sure. there's literally no reason for you to leave ever. There is uh, you no got everything reason. There. I don't like travel. It's a, it's a lot of hassle. I've been to a lot of places and I got to tell you, if, if you can do all those things in one country, there's no reason to go anywhere else. Well, wait, I guess you, you guys don't have, you, you don't have a Disneyland though, right? Well, I don't want that. Well, yeah. So that might be your problem. So I, maybe that's Are you one of those adults who love Disney. Disney? No, but I haven't been since I was like six, but that's I would go back in, in a heartbeat. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Maybe you should wait till you yeah. have children. Uh, I, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. Why I'd not? rather go and like do magic mushrooms or something. And what about this new girlfriend? She might want to have kids. She might want to make some baby Joe exotics. No, she, um, she already has a kid, uh, which I skipped over. So how old is that kid? Yeah, she already has a kid. Uh, he is five. Well, she might want another kid. I don't know, man, because uh, you haven't talked to her about she, it. She, well, I mean, she won't. She, she gets mad if I blasted in her, so I, I don't think it's happening. But uh, well, that's now, yeah, sure. She, she, you're a pothead, but once you give up the pot and become normal, she want to breathe with you. I I don't know, man. I'm vaccinated too, so I I don't know. Does that mean? Uh, I think that means my my kids are dead, right? I think they're just retarded. Yeah, and I'm I don't want to risk that. I mean, I've you, used that you word. Keep getting the vaccine? Do you keep getting the vaccine? Do you keep getting the boosters? F- no, uh, I I said two and done, and I regret that. What about yeah, you? I did, did that. You do I had that? to do that for my work. I had to get vaccinated yeah. or lose my job. Well, they say I can't go to the U.S. if I don't have uh, if I haven't been vaccinated. But then I I got COVID. It's not like I isolated. I mean, nobody cares if you uh, if you have COVID. They just care if you're vaccinated. It's absolutely, it's like, what the fuck is going on in, in this world? No, no, it's so stupid. It's so, just fucking let people do whatever they want and leave them alone. Exactly. Except Did abortion, get... apparently. We got to get involved in abortion. Yeah, abortion's a big deal up there. Is abortion a big deal in Canada? No, nobody gives a fuck. Uh, no one gives killing... a fuck here either. I've never heard anyone ever talk about abortion in Australia. No one cares. Kill, kill babies if you want to but just say what it is like don't like yeah well it is murdering it is killing a human life to me but i don't care well the problem is the fallacy though of people thinking it's just baby goo right but um no, it's aside not. from that no it's not goo it's like it's an actual thing but i, I don't care like if, if that's what you want to do whatever uh it's not my not my no, issue. kill everyone there's too many people yeah like uh, kill them 18 years after kill them 30 years after they're born like who gives a fuck not me uh, I, I, yeah I, I mean i'm okay with the death penalty too if we're gonna bring that back save us some tax dollars well what what sort of crimes like cap- just capital crimes or littering or where do, where do you want to go with that uh everything um Chewing pro- gum. protesting the government kill them um government like destruction of buildings kill them Pulling down statues, killing. I don't like the government. I don't even vote. I fucking hate the government. I think you have to vote because if you if you don't vote, then how can you complain? Well, you look at Russia, right? You got Putin and some sort of dodgy opposition that isn't real. That's how I see our society. Well, I mean, I don't think that's because that's a quasi-communist, right? Like he did what he did his. he did his eight year term, then he did, he became the prime minister for eight years, and then he went back as the. Yeah, as but the my point is whatever, that right? in, so, in the West, we've got the two party big parties that are both corrupt, that both don't really represent people. And, and do we even need them anymore? I doubt it, because politics was designed when travel was difficult and they would go and represent the people. But with technology, I don't think you really need that anymore. Anyway, the point is that. Both parties are shit. 
I don't, I don't want to be in the system. Fuck the system. The system's shit. Fuck you. Fuck Canada. Fuck everyone. Yeah, but I mean, you, you live in a country where like the prime minister can go swimming one day and disappear. So good. It's Let him go. different for you. Well, well, where did he go? Nobody found him, right? He probably got eaten. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like Tim Dillon. I listened to Tim Dillon's podcast and he recently came to Australia and him and his producer went for a swim and they instantly got caught in a rip and nearly drowned. And that's Australia. Australia's dangerous. I like it. Wait, you're telling me if I go swimming, like I, I get drowned in Australia? Like you don't have I rips in the surf. surf? Do you have surf and rips? No. I don't think we have surfs. No. We have beaches, but they're they're not like there's no surfs. You don't have waves? Like not big waves. So you're telling oh. me that there's waves that are big enough to take a fat guy like Tim Dillon out to sea? Well, the big waves are pummeling in, and then the water that's coming in has to go out. And the it sort of funnels to one point at times on certain beaches with channels, and that becomes a rip, which is water rapidly going out to sea. I've been caught in rips heaps of times. It's fucking dangerous, but you've got to be a good swimmer. Yeah, that's interesting. You didn't know about that. Uh, that's not a thing up there. No, that's definitely not a thing. Well, it's a um, common thing that tourists come here and die. And I guess that's why. Because you're well, weak. they probably deserve it if they don't know how to swim. Well, you can know how to swim, but in a rip, you're kind of fucked. You, gotta, you can't fight the rip. You, you're not strong enough. So you kind of got to let it suck you out to sea, get out of the rip, and then swim back in. Otherwise, <laughs> you lose all your energy. Just write that down for when you come. So you let it take you out to sea. And then when it's when it's calm, you come back in. Okay. Yeah, or you or you swim across, like sort of angle at a forty five degree through the rip. Rips are strong, dude. You're not going to fight. Just let it take you. Like if it's your time, it's your time. No, I I don't want to die yet. I'm too. I got too much to do. You got you got grass to cut. That's right. So I'm just putting a line through the wife and children. You hate children. You want all children dead. True. Did you meet this girl, this fake girlfriend? Did you meet her on the internet? No. Real life? Yeah. Do you think it's too dangerous for you young guys to meet girls on the internet or that you've met through online because of the filters and the pictures you can't tell? No, I met a girl. Um off Twitter a few years ago and uh, she moved in with me and I mean, she was very attractive, uh, but yeah, like I can see the filter thing. I think now she does like uh, a lot of filtered pictures and stuff. They love what, it. Don't uh, they? I would see it. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I think you can still find girls that aren't too into that but i mean no matter what like with the makeup like you can't like makeup is the biggest filter right it's when witchcraft. you see girls without makeup yeah exactly now so you never friend, know what's witchcraft. really under there my friend jim had a girlfriend who had so much makeup on like we were amazed like it's like um i don't know what you call it like um like what you put on drywall like um to fill a hole yeah what do you call that up there like caulking or whatever? I don't fucking know. Yeah. What do I know? We're like, what the f How much shit? What is she hiding under all that shit? Never saw her with yeah, that. Well, make makeup can do some uh, really weird things. I mean, just look at uh, Alex Engelbert. You don't think she's pretty? I mean, well, there's some pictures where she looks okay, and then there's some pictures where it's like, oh. So, I mean, it, I guess it depends who took the picture, if it's her or if it's, you know, somebody else at like a secret show taking the pictures. Right. Yeah. What What is real anymore is very hard to tell. But yeah, when you see people at parties or comedy shows and they're taking photos with celebrities or whatever, that's when you can see what they really look like. And it's Sometimes often bad. They... Yeah. Well, I mean, some people have to wear giant hats, right, to hide their uh, disgusting. Dist well, at least like to throw off the balance of them, like looking fat and having weird proportions, right? Any chick who loves hats is a cunt. 
I mean, that that's a strong point. It's the right point. Yeah. I'll be I'll be on the right side of history. <laughs> do do Canadians have fences? Do we have sensors? Fences. They're in your backyard. You have a fence? Oh yeah, I got a fence. Do all Canadians have fences? Uh I I find I think most homeowners have fences, yeah. Yeah, same here, but apparently in America they don't. It's weird. I think it depends on like where you live. Uh, I know like in upstate New York and in that area, the properties are so big and and so foresty that like most people don't have fences because they'd have to do major landscaping as in like taking down trees to do that kind of stuff. But um, it just depends on where you are. And I'm, I'm in like hardcore suburbia. So uh, you're a city boy. Yeah. Nobody wants to come into each other's backyards here. So now get the fuck out of my yard. Yeah, I mean, well, my problem is like I have the, these Asian neighbors that live right behind me and they have these three like really shit small dogs and they get through the fence. So like I'll be hanging out in my backyard and the one will just come up to me and start barking at me. And it's like, I, I, what's what's your problem? What's this the is fence my house. made out of? Is your fence made out of balsa? No, it's metal. It's a uh, iron metal fence. How do they get through it? It's like uh, bars, right? They uh, they're small enough to just get through that. I don't think you got the right fence, dude. Well, listen. It, so what? There were there were coyotes in my backyard. I'm like, oh, how did it get here? And then I saw it, and it just jumped right over the fence. So it's uh, it's not that big, but it's it's big enough. Have you sorted out the Asian neighbors with the dogs? Have you talked to them? Uh no they they don't really care and uh i don't really care either but uh they they don't seem to care that their dogs keep coming in my backyard no, i don't like it I, i'm not a big fan of it either but there's a lot of coyotes around so i'm sure that eventually it uh the problem will solve itself you can run some like chicken wire mesh along the fence to stop them if you want yeah but like i could also just steal the dogs right like they're small enough where i could probably get away with it and then you're gonna get cut. I mean, because <laughs> they're Asian. I I already have it. I think I might. I'm, I think I might be immune now. Nah, you can get it more than once. Is that how that works? Don't you have? Don't you get like extra immunity? Isn't that what uh, Gino said? Well, my I get son, all my, COVID my son got the Delta, and then recently he yeah. got the Intercom virus, and I'm like, we all got it. And it wasn't that big a deal, but I was like. You must be a dirty little bastard to get it twice. What's like the intercom that virus? That's that's the next version of it. Yeah, the o- Omicron. Oh, the okay. I don't know, man. I just it's all the same shit. It's all too much. Uh, AIDS. It? It's yeah, just nonsense, it. man. Like it's fun. What's the worst that could happen? You Old die. people are supposed to die anyways. Like die, so. no, you're right very rarely would you get a normal person and there might be the fatty with the diabetes fuck them do you have the diabetes well, i mean yeah i mean diabetes isn't something you're born with some people unless are. it's like unless it's like type 2 diabetes right no type but, 1 you're uh, born with type 2 is because you're fat okay okay so yeah so i mean i i don't care if type 2 diabetes people die i mean whose fault is that god exactly all right, my final question, because we're going to go long and I can't have it. Um, what happened to Rickosaurus? He disappeared off Twitter. Is he dead? I, you know, see, I think we, we talked about, like, blocking Twitter people, and that's what, like, I was thinking about Rick, because, like, I had Rick blocked for the longest time, and then eventually I just said, fuck it, and unblocked him, because he kept, like, people kept retweeting it, and I, I kept seeing, like, people mentioning to him or whatever. I, um, I didn't have him blocked, but I didn't follow him. So I saw too much. I didn't like seeing his bloody dick or whatever. Well, my problem was like people would start photoshopping his dick into other pictures. And it's like, I'm supposed to what? Like mute like five people so I can't see Rick's dick. So eventually it's like, you can't hide from everything. No, you can't. So I just embraced it and he went away for some reason. I Did think you just say you it, embrace Rick's dick? I embraced his dick and it went away. It's only like two inches. That's not gay. Like I've seen, I've seen vaginas bigger than his dick. No, that's not gay, but sports gay. 
Oh no, sports are gay. You I are mean, a fucking and, nerd. Think about it. Like, what sport doesn't have dudes like rubbing up against each other? If that's the way you interpret it, maybe your guy. No, think about it. Like, even look at baseball. Even baseball, you hit a ball and then you catch the ball and you're supposed to rub it on the guy. There's a lot I, of like. I, weird... I don't watch baseball, but in cricket, there's not a lot of uh, touching. It's just that. Versus how is the guy? Court. How does the guy get out? How do they get him out after he hits the ball in cricket? If they catch it. Yeah, but so don't they the... have to tap him? No. Well, I don't. I don't know. Not at all. There's no tap. Listen, all, all I know is curling is the best sport alive. It's the most heterosexual sport. Curling. There's no men touching there. Yeah, I've never seen it. I don't watch the Olympics. I hate the Olympics. It's all shit sports that no one wants to watch. No, 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 not curling. You got to get into curling. That's where it's at. I do not have to. You can't control me, no. Joe. I think you need to get into curling. It's way better than uh, cricket. I'm not going to watch curling. I'm not going to watch the Isn't Wonka. Isn't cricket what, like, all these Indian guys are into? Like, is that yeah, but it came like from England. Indian like, in- India was conquered and colonized by England, and they gave them civilization. You're welcome. What you, you guys well, India vegetate. doesn't even have toilets. Like, what do you, what, they don't, if you go to India, like, don't all the hotels have, like, signs that say uh, these washrooms could be used by anyone? Well, I've never been, but, um, Gil Bravo told me that he went to India for a wedding, which I think is super weird. Like well, my I friend invited me to. I uh, wouldn't travel my an fr- hour for a wedding. My friend invited me to uh, his wedding in India, and uh, I didn't go. Why did but, he want to uh, get married in India? Well, he was getting arranged marriage, which uh, oh, I he find was hilarious. Indian. Yeah, so uh, they're still married, uh, and he's hot? a doctor. Yeah, uh, I was really surprised, but Fuck it. Uh, maybe it's the way to go. Well, what like your dad pays money to the other family or something like uh, like a dowry. There's some. Yeah, exactly. So you can pick like hot chicks. And you, so you I, might, I don't think like some people are bad at picking partners for themselves. They just shit at it and they constantly exactly. fail. Like you, so I, I you're think attracted uh, to pot smoking people, but maybe that's not the right person for you, Joe. The girl I'm with now doesn't smoke pot. What are you talking about? She smokes. I don't pot. know. No, I wish, but she does. All not. Canadians are drug addicts. I, we need... I don't think that's accurate either. I just all the Canadians you know are drug addicts. What we need is Canada to invade the US or vice versa, and we just settle this once and for all. I I think we're going to get nuked soon by Russia, and that's going to solve everything. Because once the that's, US gets nuked, I mean, fall it's happen. us. It's, it's not going to happen. How does that it's benefit gonna... Russia? Um, I mean, they're they're trying to save us, right? They're trying to save us from the converting to trannies or whatever. Is that what's going on? Well, they were saying that they're, they went into Ukraine to stop the Nazis, right? The neo-Nazis. Are they Nazis? And there's only like, well, I think like 10% of their army is neo-Nazis, but like of the Ukraine That's army, like those bad. Azov battalions. No, like it's not. So are there some neo-Nazis there? Yeah, for sure. But I mean, it would be like them nuking the US and saying like, oh, we did it to stop the transgender conversions or whatever. I think transgender is like 90% of America, according to my Twitter feed. Yeah. Um, I, I, I have family members that uh, have pushed for it. And uh, I'm not, I'm just not, it's just weird to me, the whole premise. Uh, I, I'm not uh, interested like, at all. Of, like a, of having like a three-year-old family member that's like, they say that he is actually a girl or whatever. I think well, he's four now. What's interesting so it's like is stuff that, like that. Is that like, doesn't ugh. seem to happen in Australia at all. Like the kids being the wrong sex. Why isn't that happening here? Why is it only happening up there? It's, it's obviously some sort of fad. Yeah, no, it's for sure a fad. Uh, and there's something wrong with it. It's not, it's just fucking weird, man. And, uh, like it's it's fine if that's how you are, but I mean, a kid has to make their own decision, and and they're not making that decision before they're ten, before they're like eighteen, probably. But 
Definitely well, not before they're stupid. 10. So. Kids are fucking idiots. Yeah, I mean, think about what you wanted to be when you were five. Like, you wanted to be probably a fucking dinosaur or robot or something. You don't want to be a... Probably, a, a, probably a professional cricket player, to be honest. Yeah, so it's just... It's weird. Uh, it's just like pushing the sexualization of kids. And uh, it's definitely not something I'm into. Well, you you are, because you promote the Wonka. Listen, Willy Wonka is a great film. So I don't know how you can... You can just hate on that. Huh? Well, I haven't actually seen Not it. Not the Johnny Depp fair. one. The original no, one is pretty I haven't pretty seen good. it. I haven't seen it. Like, so, I don't think I'm going to either. I don't like the idea of it. I mean, kids get tortured in it. Um, You're adults a sick just man. make fun of kids. It's, it's pretty good. There's I, something I, wrong with tell that you, it's a, it's a, I mean, there's a lot wrong with that movie, but it, it's a solid flick. I think you young people are kind of weird. Have you ever seen the movie The Wizard? No. Yeah, see, that's another solid flick. What's an autistic kid who's some like autistic kid? uh, His family tries to put him into like a autistic boarding school, but he runs away. No, it's called Harry Potter. That's Harry Potter. But he's really good at Super Mario. And uh, yeah, then he just starts playing Super Mario until he goes to like some championship. That's now that's a movie. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know what I've never played the Mario. What? Yeah, see, you live a really weird life, man. I just, you, you're just out in Australia hunting wild horses and stuff and selling them back to the, uh, the government. No, I don't sell them. We fuck them. But the, the computer game thing started more when I was a teenager and it was too late i just i mean i dabbled i played space invaders and pac-man in the arcade maybe a bit of pinball but the the home consoles like the nerdiness of that i just couldn't wrap my head around it why you'd want to be inside playing a computer game when you can play outside i, I just can't wrap my head around it so i'm like fuck it i'll just never do it like you can go online, you can play with people online, you, you make friends online. You, you, I don't know, man. Like, I got plenty of on, friends. Like, why do I want to make friends online with computer nerds? Yeah, I mean, you're you're making valid points, and I'm not sure of like any good rebuttals to them. But and what? Is, tell me, what is so great about Mario? Well, I mean, Mario, as in Mario Luigi. Yeah, uh, that's his full name. What's the guy? Uh, what do you do? He's a plumber and he has to, he's just trying to fix all of his pipes. So you go down pipes and you got to uh, fight all the monsters that are blocking the poop. Can you do your own plumbing at home? What do you mean? In what way? I don't know. You've got a block pipe. Could you pull it apart and fix it and put it all back together? Yeah, I mean, potentially, but. Do you? Is that. Oh, do I have a blocked pipe that I could put? No. Like what? I'm supposed to block my pipe all the time? No. I, I just, I just think that'd be more impressive if you could actually do something in the real world. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm but, never wrong. But my kill death ratio on Call of Duty is pretty good. So. And my rank on League is pretty good too. So. What's League? I mean, I'm not complaining. You know, like my League, the League ranking of Call of Duty. So. I don't know the Call of Duty. It's just a shoot 'em up game, is it? Yeah. I've never it's played like, any shoot 'em up games in my life. You're either like Russia or you're like Americans. Uh, so I don't know. It's pretty good. Yeah, it sounds super. I'm really into it. You, sh- you should get into it. I think you'd really like it. I got too much to do. No, I got my. I mean, um... Well, I mean, you got your podcast career to. Uh, to plan out like yeah yeah i'm negotiating with spotify to sell that get the joe rogan money the fuck you money i mean you're selling vacations too so i mean you're you're making a lot of money with i'm these, making uh, bank. ads and these referral ads yeah yeah that's right all right so lastly is there anyone on twitter you hate and you want to trash uh, not really um oh, come on like nine i go on twitter stuff. like I go on Twitter for fun, but you notice I notice that there's people who like are constantly obsessed with tweeting at me and saying stuff to me, and and it's just weird. Like uh, what? But 
Well, I mean, Ski Mask is constantly tweeting at me whenever I say anything. It's really weird. Like, I don't follow him, uh, but I, I don't know. Are you know a fan of his shots? Is. I've never, I, I've been blocked from his YouTube after I think he did like his third episode. Ah. So I haven't really watched because if you can't participate, what's the what's the fun in that? No, nah, that's not fun. You're right. So like I, you can't even comment like this show sucks with anybody seeing it. So it's what what's the point? Yeah, but, I, uh, I don't like the drinking on the show. Like you know, the look at me, I'm drinking. Like I, I find that very annoying. Well, it was supposed to be like a wrap up show of Kevin's show, but it, it just kind of got off the rails. And yeah, I liked it. it was that? I thought that was interesting. Like having IVA if it wasn't cool for on. if it wasn't for Stancil and Mead, uh, they'd have nothing, right? So well, Mead's never on it anymore. Uh, yeah, I haven't noticed, but uh, it's not. It's definitely not my cup of tea, and uh, I, I don't know. I mean, that, I think that's what got me with Pat Oates too. Was like he somehow like teamed up with like Ski Mask, and they were like sucking each other's dicks on the weekend or something. They definitely were stuff. sucking each other's dicks, and it was disgusting. Like I well, I think what was happening was like Pat would would lube up his head, right? His bald head, and he'd just like shove it right up into uh ski mask's asshole. Do you think baldness is a sign of weakness? No, I, I think it's uh hereditary and uh, it is what it is. That's some so ignorant you, shit you're fucking spitting. You think it's uh you think it's a sign of weakness? I think it's a life choice. I think they choose to quit their hair. Well, I went for a haircut and the guy who was cutting my hair was like, oh, you should do what I did. I'm like, okay, what, what's that? He's like, you should get like a hair transplant. And he was like telling me how I should go to Iraq. And Are you getting, get are you getting bald? Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm thinning out, but it is what it is. Why do you um, make that choice? Who dude? cares? I care. I, I don't care. I don't um, like the choices you're making. I mean, I'll be dead in what, like two, three years with all what these uh, vaccine side effects? I nah. mean, Maybe. I mean, uh, base, I don't know if you've listened to In Hot Water or, or seen Not Gino's much. rants on Twitter, but acor- according to him, I only have days to live. So uh, I'm not sure. But uh, I, I have to assume I'm going to be dying soon. So who knows? And you got the nuclear attack from Russia. You got a lot going on up there. We're definitely going to, like, within the next three years, the U.S. is going to be attacked by Russia. I reckon there's a near zero percent chance of that happening no it's happening i think you're more likely to see the u.s go bankrupt and just fall apart how would they go bankrupt though because they just what's money i don't i mean they're they still pretend to be on the gold standard to a certain extent right they they say that they do not well they pretend they have gold in fort knox right so if they don't have any gold in Fort Knox, then yeah, I guess they could go bankrupt. But the gold was to... de-linked from the currency in the seventies when you, and then they just started... oh yeah yeah for sure. But they still set until then they they had the gold in Fort Knox right to represent the currency. So it just depends on if they sold that, then yeah they they're fucked. But if they still have those stockpiles, uh, I think it's irrelevant. Right? I think the the currency is backed by nothing. And it's been so debased by rampant money printing that it's a big problem. And that's why you got inflation now. And it's a problem all across the Western world. Well, I mean, does Australia not have inflation? We do. And we've, we've done the same thing because we had artificially low interest rates for a long time. We, um, we had a recession. So they're like, well, we'll print money, which will prop up the property market, makes everyone happy. Shares go up. And people feel wealthier, but it's not real. Like your property yeah. hasn't gone up in value, money's gone down in value, which is inflation. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'm never wrong, wrong, Joe. There's, but uh, I don't know. I've never really thought about if what would happen if the U.S. went bankrupt. But we do seem to be getting closer and closer to that. It'll position. probably be more a structured default like Greece, and I'm sure it'll happen for Canada too because you're a socialist state. Loves oh yeah we're de- we're we're Italy. definitely uh and all we do is send money to fucking like the ukraine and to haiti and to israel and like people who don't need it so well the theory is that the politicians do that to launder the money to get the kickbacks well like 
Who gives a fuck about the Ukraine anyways? No like, why do they need billions of dollars? Who do you like, know this Ukrainian? Them... No one. Wrong. Like, just give them to Russia. Like, just Danielle. let Russia fucking take it. Who gives a fuck? So, oh, you're saying Danielle. Oh. Well, her, that's yeah, Ukraine. Guess. She's the Ukraine. She's the representative of the Ukraine. Well, yeah, if she if she represents all of Ukraine, nuke them. There you nuke go. Them now. There you go. That's the way to finish the show. Thanks for coming on the show, Joe. I appreciate it. No, thanks for having me. You're a fucking legend. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. I'm sh- nobody's listening to it this far, but uh, again, I appreciate you having me on. <laughs> thanks. Like, that's what the world needs another podcast that's right from two comedians yeah. yeah my mom has a fucking podcast <laughs>